Hi guys, so today I'm just going to be reviewing a product that I've discovered in the past few weeks and I absolutely love, like so 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 much, and this is the Garnier Roll-On Anti Dark Circles Roll-On, you know, the um, it's like a sterling silver ball, I'll just show it to you, it's like a sterling silver ball, and if this is a tinting one, <coughs> and this is for fair skin tones, there's a fairly light, a fair, a medium, and there is a dark, but it wasn't out there when I went and got it, I found it quite weird, but yeah. So basically, this is just a sterling silver ball that is really, really cool in for the under eye area. Now you roll it on and you get like a concealer, which is really blendable and really, really light. You cannot notice that I have anything on my skin there and it gives a really, really dewy effect. Um, this is fine for me and I have quite light skin, um, but yeah, if I just put it there, you can see that it is quite light, but it does blend. Um, I don't like getting um, things that are too dark for my skin, I prefer to get things that are too light, so yeah, I picked this up in the fair one instead of medium because I just preferred to get this one. Um, so yeah, basically it's such a cooling effect from the end dry. I use this, I put my primer on, <coughs> and then I put my MAC Studio Tech is it Finish. Studio Finish Concealer. And I put this on my spots and things, like right, just over my primer, and then I put this on the end dry area. I used to used to used to put this and in my under eye area as well for goodness sake um <laughs> sorry it's my fault um i used to like the under eye as well but i found it got really really cakey throughout the day this doesn't at all it it gives it a really really dewy finish um i then apply a foundation over the top whatever i'm using let's just say i'm using this inglot foundation that i have to hand um or even oh that was not good or the collection 2001, whatever, makeup forever, any foundation, bare minerals. I then put that over the top, um, bring it up to the, what's this doing? Bring it up to the eye, like I would usually, and buff it in with whatever brush, whatever sponge, anything I'm using, and then this still stays put, and it's just amazing, it stays put through the whole day. I do, um, when throughout the day, I chop it, by using get my little daily makeup bag on. Cover by using the Collection 2000 Last Imperfection Concealer, which is my favourite 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 concealer. Um, even better than this new one I got, the 24 Hour Maybelline Superstay. Um, this is amazing, and I'm going to do a review on it soon because it's just so amazing, and I absolutely love it. I've got so many of these. Um, so put it all over after my foundation. This is like a foundation. Um, and sometimes quite a little bit under the eye, but still, this covers up a hell of a lot. Right, I don't have very dark circles, so I'm just saying if you did have dark circles, maybe this wouldn't cover up as much as it would for me. It is quite a tiny little thing, it's really, really thin, and I think on camera it doesn't really look that thin because I didn't think it was this thin, and I think this is about £10. Because, but in boots at the moment, they're doing two for £12 on Garnier, some of the Garnier products, like they're doing two for £12 on all of the roll-on ones, so there is a roll-on without the concealer inside, um, so that's two for £12, all the ones with the concealer inside, they're two for £12, bear in mind they're like £10, 22 each. Um, the, there's like a day cream, which I also got a day cream. The day cream and then I have a night cream and I have something else as well, I can't even remember what it was. It wasn't really essential to me though. So I took this in the day cream, so basically the day cream was like two pounds. So yeah, it was pretty much a no-brainer. But um yeah. This is really really good. I think the packaging's really nice. It's nice it's nice to hold as well, like it's kinda of like a pen that I could write with it if it was a pen. Um, <laughs> because it's got this like little bit here. Um Nice packaging, nice colour as well. I think it's, it's quite, 20 hours. Thanks. It's quite an appealing colour. By the way, a lot of people are asking me how you get this like to sound like that. 
um, basically it's on the settings on my MacBook and playing around with it and I've looked at it, it's under system preferences and it's on date and time so yeah and then you just click to speak you can choose the voice you want just to let you know um, um, yeah so this absolutely love it it is amazing 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 if you can get your hands on it go and get your hands on it right now out the door go okay. this is exactly what I said about the collection 2000 big fake but you didn't go and get that did you so this is so good and yeah I really recommend it to anyone um, when I do a foundation routine, which will be in the next few weeks, I promise, I promise, I promise, um, I will use this. So, yeah. Love it. So, thank you for watching, guys. And sorry this has been a bit of a mishmash video with, like, a load of other products in it. But, yeah, round it up. This is amazing. So, thank you for listening and or watching or whatever you want to call it. And please subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon. Okay. Bye, guys.